In this problem, we're going to divide these fractions. So we have 7 over 8 divided by 1 over 4. So the first thing you want to do in every single division problem is change your division to multiplication. So we write down the 7 over 8. We change our division to multiplication. And then we flip this number. So it's really 4 over 1. The reason is division is actually equal to multiplication by the reciprocal. That's what this number is called. It's called the reciprocal. This is super important, not just in this type of math, but if you study math for years and years and years, you will always use this. It's so important. So division is multiplication by the reciprocal. Okay, now we're going to see if we have any cancellation. So the 7 and the 1, nothing happens here. And then the 4 and the 8, well, it looks like we can do some cancellation here. 4 goes into 4 one time, and 4 goes into 8 two times. So what we do is we put lines through them, and then we write the number there like that. And now we can multiply. 7 times 1 is equal to 7. Right? You just multiply straight across. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So this is called an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger. So you can leave it like this, but maybe you want to write it as a mixed number. So what you can do is the following. You ask yourself, how many times does 2 go into 7? Well, 2 goes into 7 three times, right? Because 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So that gives you 3. And what's left over? Well, 1, right? 7 minus 6 is 1. So it's 3 and a half. And that would be another way to write it. I hope this video has been helpful.